Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm Martin, this is The Whiteboard, and we're learning about all things IT asset management. This week, virtualization. Virtual machines, hypervisors, physical hosts. What do all these terms mean, and why are they important to IT asset management? <laughs> So let's say that you have two systems in your company, one called payroll and one called accounts. And these are two applications sitting on two different machines. Um, they're physical machines in your office that collect dust and they've got flashing lights and you can see them. What we can do is we can virtualize them. And to virtualize them, you take these two systems and you put them on one big box. Now this is one system, uh, but they operate completely separately. So this might be Linux and that might be Microsoft and you can switch this one off. It can be on a different version to that one. They're completely different entities, but they're, they run virtually on top of a physical machine. So why do people virtualize? Well, as well as only using one machine rather than two, you can also dynamically you exchange the resources. So you can say actually uh, at, at payroll time, we're going to use this much of the uh, device and uh, when we're doing the accounting system and a year of it and we can you shift the resources this side so this is a dynamic use of resources it's a great concept great use of computing now in terms of terminology this is a virtual machine it's a virtual piece of hardware this is what you would call the physical host and this layer is the virtualization layer and the system running the virtual machines is called the hypervisor. The hypervisor is like the brains of the system. It allocates the resources and uh, provisions these different virtual machines. Now, why is all of this important to IT asset management? Because this represents three IT assets, two virtual, one physical. And as asset managers, uh, we need to know the relationship between the virtual and the physical because the licensing terms and the cost of these assets will typically be determined by uh, the underlying hardware and what's going on inside these virtual systems. So we need to know about these relationships in order to be able to manage them. Now virtualization is not a new technique. IT departments have been virtualizing their systems for decades, but it's still common in use in IT departments today. And more importantly, in order to understand cloud, you need to understand virtualization because many of these techniques are now used in the cloud. So these two virtual systems are set on hardware, but in the cloud, that also might be virtual, which is another thing to get your head around in future videos.